British cakes for British boys. A sovereign state, a jelly on a plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. All the cake that we had and ate. Wibble wobble, fire burn and cauldron wobble. Make no mistake, in a world that's gone upside down cake, we could be in a fascist state by the time you've finished your milkshake. A Manchester tart, a custard donut, and a spotted dick. Are we forever going to endure these puddings rhetoric? Jam replaced with jingoism, custard with control, and spotted dick replaced with something even more ridiculous. It appears Theresa May's laissez-faire eclair is filled with uncompromising doctrinaire. Her lady fingers in the air, swimming in a pool of butterscotch with Mr. Tony Blair. Mr. U. Kipling is an exceedingly good patrioteer, able to unite those across the land with no hair. With misplaced anger at their despair, I'm sure he's smiling somewhere. British cakes for British boys! Bambury, Charlie, Dundee and Eccles, Victoria Spuns, Chelsea Buns, Arctic Roll, Fat Rascals, Knickerbocker Glory and Jam Rolly Pawley. Prepare to be battenbergs into submission, candy cane to capitulation, razzle buried into resignation, or you'll get an eyeful of trifle until your expiration. Bald, brash, blimpish and blue, soon tiramisu will be taboo, left with only a ball, a screw and British values. A Napoleon slice, an eaten mess and a ginger nut walk into a chocolate bar. And an air of sectarian hatred and nationalism prevents any of them from enjoying their beers. Their foreign policy ideas, spurred by silent sneers, making dissonance disappear. Did you know that Nigel Farage has to camouflage his biscuits? It's true, but the newspapers have missed it. She were only the daughter of a dictator, but she could really hit despot. Bread and water, that'll be your lot. When we instate this half-baked plan, Britain is gonna be half-sleeked, man. And when you hear those bellies rumble, a statement from the Prime Minister is made, I'm afraid that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>